A quick but detailed overview of the anti-seizure medication carbamazepine, starting now. This video is brought to you by Arium EEG. Hello everyone, Gil Solano here, and welcome back to yet another neurodiagnostics discussion video where today we will be going over the anti-seizure medication carbamazepine, also known as CBZ. CBZ was developed in 1953 by a Swiss pharmaceutical company and was perhaps the first anti-epileptic drug distributed on a massive scale. Initially investigated as a drug for depression and psychosis, its effects on seizures were discovered by animal screening and in 1965, quickly gained a reputation across Europe as the most promising anti-epileptic. Brand names. Brand names for CBZ are Tegretol, Tegretol XR, Carbitrol, Epitol, and Equetro. CBZ can be taken by both adults and children who are at least one month old. And since it's a narrow spectrum AED, it is used to treat a specific seizure type, such as partial seizures, secondary generalized seizures, and tonic-clonic seizures. It's important to note that CBZ is not effective against other generalized seizure types, such as absence seizures or myoclonic seizures. MOA. CBZ's mechanism of action, or MOA, is a sodium channel blocker, meaning it binds to sodium channels and keeps it closed, stopping sodium from passing through. With sodium blocked from entering, the electrical signal is stopped. And with the electrical signals reduced, the brain is more stable and seizures are more controlled. Side effects. Common side effects of CBZ include skin rash, dizziness, drowsiness, nausea and vomiting, headaches, dry mouth, and weight gain. Side effects may happen in more than one in 100 people. They're usually mild and go away by themselves. Now let's take a look at the EEG changes. According to a 2020 article published in the Epilepsy and Behavior Journal, 616 EEG tracings were analyzed to determine CBZ's effects. In contrast to the patients who did not receive CBZ, those who did are associated with slower posterior alpha frequency, along with pathological, generalized, isolated spike in waves. And there you have it, folks. That concludes our very short discussion on CBZ. Don't forget to share with a student or colleague and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see next. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.